Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Charlotte. Today's video is all about the processing of eye drawing manga. This new series is published on Webtoon and Tapas currently. If you guys have an interest in it, I will put a link in the description below. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to me. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get down to business. First, draw a draft, then another layer of the draft. Done! Okay, just kidding. Oh, I should tell you guys, I forgot to change the language setting. Now it's in Chinese, I'm sorry. I realized that fact after I was already done with these two panels. So there's nothing I could do. I'll remember to change the language next time in case I don't have a clue with the name of tools in English when you guys have any problems. This is the first time I record the processing of drawing anything. I was kinda afraid of doing it. It's like drawing in front of people and I would get really nervous. I was kinda scared of uh, feeling embarrassed if I make mistakes. So the problem is that I didn't adjust the clarity. The video looks kinda blurred. Hope you guys don't mind it. First, I'm gonna introduce you to the mapping software I'm using right now. It's a Clip Studio Paint equals CSP. It's the best manga tool ever. I use it for over 8 years. At first, I drew with a mechanical pencil, then finish it with a drawing pen. I love that way, but the efficiency is quite low, so I started to try digital drawing. I used Sai and Photoshop. They are not bad, but if you are a manga artist, I highly recommend you to try CSP. To be honest, I'm not used to uh, changing the tools of drawing at first. Then I just used a dumb way which is draws on paper, then scan into the computer and color it in Photoshop. It took me twice of time to finish one panel, but I didn't have a choice because I have no idea how to color my manga with physical tools. I believe those who uh, want to be professional artists should on a digital board. I had two, which are from uh, Wicom, and I spent a lot of time with them. Okay, let's go back to what I'm doing right now. These two scenes are from my first episode. My two main characters reunited for the first time after so many years. One of them is an angel kind of drama, isn't it? And the other one is my heroine, Zoe Miller. And this is her shocking face. You know, because we are not supposed to say angels in real life. So I have to map the scary face and transfer the fear as much as I can. The blue layer is my previous draft for the storyboard, so I'm gonna need another layer of the draft with more details for the final draft. In order not to confuse, I will draw this new draft in red. Okay, now I'm gonna speed the video so you can see the processing of I drawing a red draft of this angel. There is a little tip for you guys. I don't know if you ever noticed that when you draw a face or body, it might look okay on the front side, but when you flip over the paper or canvas, you will be shocked that how unsymmetric your drawing is. I first realized that is after I drawing a front face of an anime girl on paper and accidentally flipped over and saw it through the light. Before that, I always thought I was getting better at drawing faces. That crooked face made me realize that I have to pay more attention to the symmetry of faces. So flip over and check your drawing, especially the front face, every time after you finish your draft. You will be surprised.
Okay, done with the red draft. Now let's draw the final draft. I love this part the most. I practiced so many faces with multiple expressions before. There are different degrees of、uh, expression of fear, but the principles are the same. Lower the brows,、uh, smaller the pupils, maybe open mouth a little bit or big. All depends on how much threat your character is facing. You can also add some lines under the eye. It's like your character stressed or exhausted or something. It will help to make her look even more afraid. You have to check if the placement of your character's facial feature is right during this time. Adjust slightly until you think they look okay. Don't be too worried if they are not in the right place. Face is a hard spot which you have to put more attention into. A small difference would make your character look like another person. So the key is to remember every feature of your character. Okay, back to my manga. This is a romantic story between a human and an angel. Maybe I don't know. Is this supposed to be a love story? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I was inspired by the Bible, which said all humanoid angels are men forms instead of、uh, women and cherubs. I was astounded by the fact. So male angel, huh? Sounds wonderful. Because my hero is an angel, I assumed that he is a kind one, which leaves me more imaginary space of my heroine. The majority of the ordinary heroines are kind, sweet, common. So I decided to create a different heroine with a choleric personality, who has been、uh, pretending to be a well-behaved kid and fraud all adults. I like female characters with strong personalities. Cutie pies are not my thing. I guess all the anime female characters from my childhood are tough, and、uh, that influenced me a lot. Such as、uh, Bulma from Gakun, Morilan from Detective Conan. Especially Bulma, the scene that she shooted Gakun with a machine gun when she realized Gakun took off her panties. I had never seen a girl with that power, and she's so beautiful. Too shame she doesn't have many opportunities to release her charm. And I still don't get it why she married Vegeta but not Gakun. Trunks is handsome though. Now the hairs. I know for some people, hair means a huge challenge. I know a guy. He is so good at drawing mechanic structure, but he has no idea how to draw hair. I know there must be some people who are just like my friend. I'm the complete opposite of him. When I was a little girl, I always loved drawing hairs or eyes. These two things make my characters look more dashing, and I'm naturally good with、uh, curly lines instead of、uh, straight lines. So I can never draw a machine as good as those who like my friend. Guns and cars are my nightmares. If you have any problem with、uh, mapping hairs, please let me know in the comment section. I'll consider making a video about how to draw all kinds of hairs. This video is all about the processing of drawing. I'll omit the details. Okay, now I'm gonna share some tips、uh, of perspective with you guys. You can see that I didn't draw the perspective lines when I drew the angel in the lookup perspective, because I'm so familiar with human bodies from、uh, various perspectives. It took me years to learn anatomy, but until now, I don't think I can handle it completely. I still can't figure out arms and legs and back muscles. These three parts are so complicated. I need to get references when I draw a big muscle guy, and I'm so jealous of those who can、uh, easily draw muscles without referring to anything. But if you just want to draw a relaxed genre of manga, such as a romance or a comedy, you don't need to、uh, learn that much. Fundamental theory of anatomy is enough. I know there are so many tutorials of perspective on YouTube or someone else for you to find and learn, from the simple one-point perspective to the complex three-point perspective. You can get any pieces of knowledge you want. Just search on the internet. So I won't bother you with these basic theories. I'm gonna share something new with you. I didn't learn perspective、um, systematically. Don't get me wrong. Perspective is so important and useful. I'm not suggesting you skip it, but I suggest you to learn recognize everything that you want to draw. For example, humans. In the beginning, you learn to draw anime characters by interest. That's a good way to enjoy drawing. The more you draw, the better you get. But this situation couldn't last forever. You're gonna get stuck, because all of your knowledge about drawing came from the artists that you admire. The things that artists draw are kind of different from things actually are. They are prone to do some embellished work on what they paint, such as a、uh, deform or a beautify. Just like anime girls' eyes are exaggerated from real life, 
no matter how they deform their art, the foundation of the structure wouldn't be changed. So, if you want to enhance your scale, you should learn what the objects really look like. Some people would start to practice the literary sketch. I did, but that was kind of boring to me. So uh, I only did it for half of a month, then I quit. I'm not saying the sketch is useless. In contrast, I wish I could consist much longer. My arts would be more professional then. But if you're like me, you know, a person who has no willpower, I suggest you start to observe loads of objects. Just observe and observe more. I know it's technically not a form method, but it works for me, and it might work for you too. You need to build a correct structure in your head. You may not be able to draw it now, but it helps you to find out where you get wrong. I saw so many people who practice so much without thinking or referring to a real thing. So it seems like they're working hard, but they just kept making the same mistakes. I remember when I learned to draw. I was stuck in the structure of the knee part. I didn't learn how to observe back then, so I read a bunch of manga and tried to figure out what's wrong with my drawing. Unfortunately, the manga I was reading exaggerates a partial of the human body. I could copy the arts a hundred times, but still don't understand why the artist drew it like that. Then I went to the park and tried to relax, and I saw some people were playing badminton. It was a hot summer day, and one of the boys wore shorts. Thank God. I started staring at that boy at least for half an hour. Yeah, I was literally sitting there and staring like a pervert. A spark showed in my head. I realized that legs are not just like tight sausages, so I couldn't draw knees simply like this. It should be more like this, with a rhomboid in it. Long story short, I knew how to draw legs since then, and the more essential experience I learned is observation. Pause. Now I finished the whole body, and I assumed that the wing part might not be that fun, so I'm gonna skip it. Oh, the flowing hairs! These are the best. They can add some movement to your drawing, make it look more alive. When you draw long hair, you have to be confident. Just give a good sweep, then sweep again. Don't just draw it gingerly. Don't be too afraid of making mistakes. You can always control Z and fix it. You need to feel the rhythm that the hair wants to go. Hair lines must be alive instead of、uh, you drawing a settled shape. You might gonna lose the spirit of hair. Okay, done. Finally, I didn't record the processing of adjusting wings. That'll be too long. So there's a slight difference with the final draft. What do you guys think? No bad, huh? Let's zoom in and take a really good look at it.
that's it. I've always wanted to record it and uh, I finally did it. I love the moment that I feel a sense of achievement uh, when I finish a satisfactory drawing. Nothing can compare with that. I guess that's a drive that makes me keep going. And I believe you can feel the same way as me. The length of this video is longer than I thought, but I had a lot of fun. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe me and uh, turn on the notification and then you won't miss my content. I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.